Hola mi gente and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alexandra and I would love for you to join the family. All right, so for today's video, I wanted to talk about the drugstore products that I have been loving, my fave, the best drugstore products that I have found so far in 2020. Now, some of these are new launches, some of them are older products, but these are products that I have found that I have been gravitating towards when I have been doing my makeup. So, if you like videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I would really appreciate it from you guys. And all right, let's get on to the video. All right, so these are drugstore products in every category so that I can give you something in every category for your makeup. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with primer. And the primer I am going to choose today it is a new product that did come out and that is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now I really do love this product because it just makes your pores nice and smooth, it fills it in and it helps your foundation go on and glide on smoother onto the face which is something I need especially because I have pores which I'm sure we all do but I have acne and because of that my pores could look a little big or it just emphasizes the texture so i love to go in with a primer like this just smooth everything out that's why it is my fave for drugstore primer now for foundation i have come across quite a bit of drugstore foundations and i have tried out quite a bit and i actually have some that i thought i loved and then found out I didn't anymore. Let me know if you would want to see a video like that on products that I thought I loved on first application and then when I wore it throughout the day or as I applied it more times, I found out that I didn't like it. Let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to do a video on that. But the one that I have found the best for my skin type, which is acne prone, that gives me just the right amount of coverage. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. That would go to the Milani Conceal Imperfect Foundation. I love this. It gives me just the right amount of coverage to cover up those pimples, the acne, the hyperpigmentation I have. It never emphasizes the texture I have on my face. It goes and glides on nicely as a foundation. I really like it and that's why it takes the best in the foundation category. All right, next is concealer and for the concealer category, if you haven't seen my videos, you know I have been going for this concealer quite a bit ever since I discovered it and tried it out for the first time when it launched. This is a new product as well and that is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love this concealer because one, it's full coverage and it has dark under eye circles so it covers it up. It is lightweight. It's not drying under the eyes which is something I have a problem with when concealers are just so drying under the eyes and just emphasize any like little wrinkles you may have. I just hate that. But with this one, I don't have that problem because it's hydrating but it's not too luminous. And I find that it doesn't emphasize any texture and it just glides on smoothly onto the skin and blends out like a dream. So that's why the Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer takes the win for my drugstore concealer category. Now, going to be honest with you guys, I do not have a drugstore powder to set the face just because I don't feel like I have tried enough. But when I do, I will be sure to let you guys know. Next, for the bronzer category, this is a bronzer that since it came out, which again, this one is a new product, I loved it. And I was afraid at the start because it did have a little glow or sheen to it. But to my surprise, it did not emphasize any texture on my skin. It did not emphasize the pimples I have, which some glowy products may have. But 
this one did not do that for me it buns out so nicely onto the skin it's buildable you can't go in with too much product and it just looks so nice on the skin and it makes you look nice and healthy and warmed up and that is the Revlon Prismatic Bronzer in Sunkissed Bean. You guys know that I have been using this a lot. All right, next is blush. Now I have not found a matte blush that I love from the drugstore, but there is a shimmery blush that I do like that I can't get away with even with my acne, and that is the Milani Baked Powder Blush. This one's in Rosa de Oro, but I think just the Milani Baked Blush formula is really good. A lot of people like Luminoso, it's up to you. I just really think it's a good formula, it's a buildable, and it's just an overall nice blush. Next is highlight, and now for the highlight category, I'm sure you guys can guess the highlight that I'm going to talk about. I have used it a lot, it's been my fave from the start ever since I started using makeup. It's such a cult favorite. It's one that everybody loves and that is the Maybelline Master Chrome. This one's in Molten Gold. I love it, especially because it doesn't emphasize my texture one. It doesn't emphasize my acne. It is shimmery. It is blinding when you want it to be blinding. You could build it up and it just looks so nice on the skin. Right. Next, we are going to go in with the eyes. Now, for eyes, so I kind of consider this brand kind of drugstore or have a drugstore price. And I just love their eyeshadow palettes wherever one they come out with. It's just so good. But this one in particular, I love because I can wear this on an everyday basis. I always go and grab it. I can make it a day look. I can make it a nighttime look. And... The mattes and the shimmers in this palette are so good. It's so versatile. I just love it. And that is the California Love Palette from ColourPop. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. It even has glitter. It has mattes. It has neutrals. But it does have some fun with it. With the little ready brown shades. And you can have fun with the glitter. It's just... It's a palette that I always go back to and that I love. The formulas are good and the prices are so good. Okay, now I do have another eye product. This eye shimmer is so beautiful. And this is a chrome shadow. So it looks so nice in daylight and any light. It looks just beautiful on the eyelid. Trust me, I loved it so much and I was so surprised when I tried it out. And this one, it's not a new product, but it is a new color. And this is the Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadow and this one's in Golden Crown. And oh my God, guys, it is so pretty. Like, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right here. Like, look at how beautiful at it you can even see it on my finger it's just such a beautiful eyeshadow and it just looks so good that's why it takes the shimmer eyeshadow okay now let's go on to lips and for lip liner and lipstick i have to give this to colourpop again it's just their formulas are so creamy and I have dry lips and the lipstick does not emphasize the texture I have on my lips. It's just so nice and creamy and it just glides nicely onto the lips. And my favorite one is a Strike It Rich that they came out in December. And it brings a lip liner and a lipstick and it's so pretty. I'm actually wearing the lip liner today. Okay, so now on for lip gloss. You guys know I am such a lip gloss type of girl. I love it, especially because I just like shine. And the drugstore lip gloss that I have been loving the most lately is Milani Ludacris Lip Gloss. And this one's She's All That. It's just so nice. It doesn't make my lips stick together. It shines for quite a good amount of time throughout the day. And it's just a bomb lip gloss. Okay, 
Now for mascara, the mascara that I'm going to say that I'm actually picking up lately, recently, is actually the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara that came out recently as well. And to be honest guys, at the beginning I did not like this mascara. But now that the formula has dried down quite a bit, I find that it just separates my lashes nicely and it gives me a good amount of length to my lashes. And I just like how it looks. Now you guys might be shocked because I didn't mention a certain mascara. But again, if you guys want me to do the products that I thought I loved but no longer don't video for the drugstore products, I will be sure to do so. That would actually go in that or just products I just don't like at the drugstore anymore. And then let's not forget about something very important, which is our brows. They frame the face. It really makes a big deal in your overall makeup. And for that, I will have to give that to the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I use it in deep brown or dark brown. I don't remember what the name was exactly. And I just love this pencil so much that I ran out. Like, I have no more product. And because of that, I've had to go to other brow products. To be honest, just because I've been lazy to order it online. But this has been my favorite so far. It is precise. It's not too like hard to draw in no brow hairs. And I love how it has a spoolie at the end so you could just blend everything in. And then the other product that is for my brows that I have been using that I love is the e.l.f. Wow Brow in Deep Brown. I love this. It keeps my brow hairs in place and it adds pigment. Especially because I do my brows ahead. Like that's the first thing I do. And then I do the rest of my makeup and I get powder on them. And so this just brings life back to them. Alright, and now it's for setting spray. Our last product. Now, this isn't technically a drugstore brand again. But it is a drugstore price in my opinion. It is a really good price for the amount of product you get. And it just refreshes your face especially when you powder it and it just locks your makeup in place throughout the day and that has to go to the morphe setting continuous setting mist it's so good guys i've actually ran out today like look at there's barely any mist in that so i'm gonna have to pick up a new bottle but this is a product that has been my tried and true i love it and yeah all right guys so we have covered all of the categories basically in makeup that I love from the drugstore. These are all products that I have tried, that I have liked, and that just really gives me a nice makeup application and that I haven't had a problem with. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it from you guys. Comment down below any suggestions you have on videos. I would love to do anything you guys suggest. And all right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.